a Mars orbiter, a moon landing and a solar observatory. It's been a landmark decade for India's space program. This story of big national dreams, ISRO's frugal engineering and now a holistic space policy has inspired close to 200 startups. Meet Pawan Kumar Chandana, co-founder of Skyroot Aerospace, the first private company in the country to launch a rocket. Three, two, one, zero. Event number 96 completed. And we have a successful lift off of Vikram S rocket. With 300 employees and a hundred million dollars in venture funding, Skyroot is targeting a satellite launch this year and one launch every month by 2026. Standing where you are today, yeah. against what is the actual Vikram 1, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, how long will it take for you to get to, let's say, even 10% yeah. of the satellite launch market globally? Yeah, so, so see, it's too early to uh, judge the numbers, but uh, three to five years is, so I think, before doable. before the decade is over? It's doable, yeah. It's yeah. doable? Yes, yes. India ranks fifth worldwide in orbital launches, far behind US and China. To narrow the gap, the government has rolled out policies to boost private participation and foreign investment. Chandana says India could catch up in under a decade. Because we have essentially all the ingredients in India to build like world-class companies. Such as? Uh, like one is infrastructure, you know, we have like a phenomenal manufacturing ecosystem in right. India. But, like even uh, uh, like launch pads, you know, we have very important infrastructure. Our geography for launching is very good from India, right? And we have like several huge manufacturing ecosystem, like several hundreds of... Thanks to uh, Istro. Thanks to Istro, because they have developed it for last... 60 years, six decades or so. Yeah. And uh, and today we are able to do what we are doing mm -hmm. because ISRO built an ecosystem for the last 60 years. Do you think that at this point, given where the private space sector is in India, yeah. um, that you know every successive government, irrespective of which party is in power, yeah. can only help it grow? Yeah, I think. Or I think. Are you concerned that you know there might be very big policy shifts? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not concerned about that because you know, uh, uh, so space sector has traditionally been quite immune to politics, mm -hmm. and uh, you know whatever the government is, in fact, the space budget has been like you know doing really well. <laughs> no, no, it's been growing. Uh, you know, uh, so whether it is sufficient or not is a different debate, but it's been like decently uh, you know growing. SpaceX, the world's largest private space company, did about two launches a week and close to $5 billion in revenue last year. That scale takes money and talent. I think talent is a very big challenge, uh, right? So because it's very difficult tech, very uh, you know, very core deep tech, I would say. Uh, so it needs like various engineering streams to work towards it, and uh, talent is very big challenge for us. I think we have trained like a lot of uh, fresh talent from the colleges. You know, become like wonderful rocket scientists over the last five years. I think that's a really good amount of talent pool so which you're we have built ourselves. So you're seeing an entire generation of space Absolutely. engineers. Absolutely. If Skyroot was to successfully launch India's first private orbital mission this year, the country will be at least five years behind China, which sent its first privately developed rocket into orbit in 2019 and ramped up to 12 launches last year. It's going to take more than rocket science for India to get there.